working to protect students from catching coronavirus tonight. Duval County Schools laying out their plan to prevent the spread of the virus in the district. The announcement from Superintendent Dr. Diana Green comes as the death toll from the virus rises to nine in the United States. And all the U.S. deaths so far have been in the state of Washington. The U.S. Navy also announced its ships will stay at sea for at least 14 days after visiting any port in Europe. That's in order to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. The CDC has stopped tallying people tested for coronavirus and taken the number off its website. President Donald Trump has asked Congress for two and a half billion dollars to combat the virus. So far, that virus is mostly uh, sparing children. Doctors say that very few children have been diagnosed and that those who are have been mild cases. Of course, that could quickly change, which is why Duval County Schools, they're getting ready. News for Jack supporter Eric Avenier joining us live outside district headquarters. And Eric, what changes can parents see? Yes, well, starting tomorrow morning, uh, the uh, district, starting tomorrow morning through the end of spring break, the district will begin the process of sanitizing and, of course, disinfecting all schools. I mean, all schools. And to get this, uh, the students who travel outside the U.S. during spring break uh, to areas that have confirmed cases of coronavirus, well, those students will now be expected to self isolate before stepping back on campus. Although there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Duval County and the risk of infection to the virus in Duval County is considered low, school superintendent Dr. Diana Green made it clear Tuesday night that she intends to keep students protected by first making sure each school is stocked with protective masks. We are providing the schools masks. However, from guidance from the Department of Health, the masks should be used for only students with symptoms of the illness, not just uh, the general population. A bulk of hand sanitizers will also be delivered to every school campus. Students who are traveling with their family out of the U.S. during spring break to countries where there are confirmed coronavirus cases will be asked not to immediately return to school when the break is over. We are asking them to voluntarily self-isolate. Um, students that are in self-isolation will be provided work from, uh, from the school for a home option. The home option allows students to either keep up with their studies and homework online or have their study materials mailed to them. School employees in self-isolation will have to adhere to district sick leave policies. Also, medically fragile students with documented immune deficiencies who have been recommended to refrain from attending school will be provided a home health plan that allows the child to receive their lessons and homework and children that move to Duval County from high-risk countries will now have to undergo evaluation before they can enroll for school. Staff from the District Parent Resource Center will support families with enrollment after consultation with staff from the district's health departments. One other note, planned school trips to amusement parks that have not already been paid for are now uh, canceled. Uh, that's because the district says it cannot control sanitation in places where there are thousands of people gathering. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Other school districts are also taking measures to prevent the spread of coronavirus. St. John's County administrators say they're encouraging parents to keep sick students at home and reporting students with flu-like symptoms to epidemiology experts. Nassau County Schools are putting up CDC-issued posters around campuses showing students how to stop germs from spreading. School administrators are also taking part in a weekly statewide conference call. Clay and Putnam County Schools are encouraging frequent hand washing and increasing the amount of time custodians spend cleaning the schools. You can find the full list of school district preparations on the coronavirus section at newsforjax.com. Statewide Florida now has three confirmed cases of coronavirus. Governor Ron DeSantis today announced the sister of one of the first two patients also tested positive for the virus. The sisters recently traveled to northern Italy, one of the areas identified for restricted travel. A third woman also traveled with them. There is uh, a roommate uh, in addition to the sister who is in, self, uh, is in isolation, has not been symptomatic yet, but obviously that's something that's monitored. The Florida Health Department reports nearly 250 people are under public health monitoring. Yeah, we've also got a special coronavirus section on newsforjacks.com. You're going to find a list of frequently asked questions, including what to do if you're worried that you might have contracted coronavirus. Find it right now at newsforjacks.com slash coronavirus.